Hello everybody! So in this video I'm going to explain to you how animal grazing in FS22 works or well more or less uh, tell you all the important things you might want to know if you want to play with animal grazing mod. Now this is more or less a mod showcase, it's of my own mod. Uh, animal grazing is made by me in FS22. It isn't my idea. Uh, if you have played FS19 or FS17 with seasons you already know uh, animal grazing, well basically uh, grazing animals as it was called in seasons. Uh, well, the animals will eat the grass in their pasture. That's more or less uh, all that is to this mod. So yeah, video done? No, not really. There are a few things, a few things you need to keep in mind and a few things you need to look out for. So first things first, um, which animals or which pastures are um, affected by this mod. Now, it doesn't matter which animal it is. Um, it works for all animals, but obviously they need to be able to eat grass. So as you can see, the cows right here, they have a, well, they don't have a grass slider because I have Maze Plus enabled. Well, this video is going to be going well enough, uh, well already. Um, well, anyways, we are, we're going to keep it, keep it going. We're going to... Um, I, I, I think I can still explain. I think I can still explain stuff. Um, anyways, um, first of all, all animals that eat grass will, uh, in theory, work with um, animal grazing. Now, the next question is which pastures or which places will work with animal grazing? Well, that's all the pastures that do have a grass foliage area. As you can see, there's a default cow stable with uh, this nice um, husbandry here and all this nice nice meadow here and it has grass right here it's deco grass so uh, the cows won't eat that and i will come to back to that uh, later but uh, it is grass now if you go uh, over there to uh, the pick enclosure i've placed you can see there is no grass there's only dirt and uh, the pigs even if they could eat grass even if they had grass as one of their foods they won't eat grass right here because well there is no foliage area. So the recognition for uh, animal grazing, if uh, animal grazing is uh, available in that particular pasture, is done via the foliage areas for deco grass. Alternatively, via the foliage areas for meadow grass, which is this grass right here. Or alternatively, foliage areas for the regular grass, which is the one that you can sow. So if you have a custom animal pasture that uh, has uh, foliage areas with uh, meadow grass or with the uh, default sowable grass, uh, either one of those three will uh, basically enable animal grass grazing for this particular pasture. But most pastures will have the deco grass right there because that's the default and most models have used that. Um, because it doesn't grow, it's always the same, it's always uh, always looks like the cows have eaten grass right there. Well, obviously they have not, it's just a deco thing. But now, since this is a deco thing and the animals won't eat grass right here, you need to change that. So if you want your animals to eat grass in your animal enclosure, you uh, can either take a plow and plow it up and well, sow uh, in grass, that will work just fine. But you can also go ahead and paint the grass in there via the uh, construction and the landscaping tools. Um, the default plant grass is meadow and meadow grass is one of the grass types that the animals can eat. So you can go ahead and paint that in there. Some mod maps do have uh, the ability to paint uh, the regular field grass as well. But most mod maps only uh, have the meadow grass. Uh, enabled but it works fine so animal grazing will um, to, to to recap animal grazing will look for uh, foliage areas in the placeable um, for deco grass for regular grass or for meadow grass if either one of those three exists and the animals can eat grass foliage uh, animal grazing will be enabled for the placeable but in order for the animals to be able to actually eat some of the grass you need to have grass in those foliage areas that actually regrows, which is either meadow grass or the normal grass. So this is the first thing. The second thing now is, um, well, a, a small thing to note, um, default, those areas are reset when reloading the safe game. Uh, anybody of you that 
tried to paint a different type of foliage in one of the animal pastures has noticed that uh, it will always be reset. This is uh, not uh, the case when playing with animal grazing. Animal grazing will deactivate that feature. So um, the foliage areas of placeables won't be reset upon reloading the save game. That's just a small side note right here. So the next thing to consider when uh, dealing with animal grazing or when playing with animal grazing is the food usage of the animals. Now, right here I have uh, animal uh, um, seasons, um, not seasons, um, birds. Where, where was I? Where was I? Well, right, right here I have Maze Plus active and I also have Maze Plus Animal Food Editions active. And you can see that right here that we have a different type of um, feeding for the cows. We have, um, well, four slots instead of three and we have base food, roughage, mo roughage moisture food and power food. Now, the default Feeding right here will be only three slots or three sliders and it will be always uh, cereal feeding for the cows, which means that they only eat one slider at any given time and they eat the slider with the best effectiveness. Now with Maze Plus, this is parallel feeding, which means they will always eat all four sliders at the same time. But um, as I said, if you play with default only, you will have cereal feeding and if you want, uh, if you play default only, you have very little food consumption. The cows will eat almost nothing, which means that this small enclosure here with 15 cows in it will have enough grass to feed them all year round and not ever run out. Also, it will probably regrow faster than they can eat it. This, of course, isn't very realistic, but if you want to play it that way, you obviously can. But if you want to play realistic, you should play with... Uh, some sort of mod that adjusts the feeding. Well, obviously, I'm going to recommend to play with Maze Plus and uh, Animal Food Edition since, uh, well, obviously, that's one of our mods. But if you want to play with a map that has adjusted feeding in it or if there's any other mod that adjusts feeding, it'll work just fine with that. Um, Animal Grazing doesn't require Maze Plus, but it'll work fine with Maze Plus and it is made with Maze Plus in mind. But as I said, it'll work fine without it. This uh, was uh, very important to me because I don't want um, want people to uh, force to play with Maze Plus if they don't want to, just for the animal grazing feature. Now, with that in mind, obviously, if you play all default, you uh, never ever need to change pastures. You never ever need to move your animals around or anything like that. Um, you never ever need to feed anything else uh, like hay or anything uh, to your animals. You can just put them on the pasture and they will always be fed. Obviously default the grass will only have 40% effectiveness so um, the production rate or whatever won't be as high but it's basically a, a completely hands-off <laughs> thing then. Um, but if you want to play uh, somewhat realistically with Maze Plus or even uh, really realistically in terms of food usage with Maze Plus and Animal Food Editions or if you want to adjust the feeding yourself with Animal uh, Food Editions where you can adjust uh, the feeding in the XML to whatever you want it to be um, you can obviously play in a way that you need to change pastures because well they will eat all the grass and if no grass is left you can move them to a different pasture and stuff like that so that's uh, a, a whole new um, dimension of playing with animals uh, if you do it that way and that's basically the main main idea behind animal grazing and and my uh, well how I intended it to be played but obviously well everybody can play however they want now um, another thing is uh, the way the animal grazing works so there's grass right here and you can see it's not uh, the same as uh, right uh, well outside here um, it's one uh, layer less. So if you know grass status, well, grass will grow one layer at a time and grazing works basically in reverse. It will remove one layer at a time. Now, grazing itself is uh, going to be activated at each full hour. So each hourly change, grazing is activated. Now, grazing will only be able to eat one layer or one growth stage of grass any day. So as soon as midnight happens, it will re reset and it can eat another layer for the day but it won't eat more than one layer per day because otherwise it could eat all the grass that is there fill it in the feeding trough and well no grass would be left it would be all in the feeding trough and that's not really realistic i wanted it in a way that the grass will disappear over time uh, on on a meadow and not um, well basically overnight so obviously that has a few drawbacks 
for example, if the cows eat a lot, like right here, small pasture, a lot of cows, adjusted feeding with high food usage, the cows would starve. Well, I don't want the cows to starve. So there's another rule. The rule is the 25% rule. Basically, if the trough is less than 25%, it'll fill or it'll keep these 25%, which means, um, well, basically, I, I need I need to take a step back and I need to, to explain another thing. Um, the, the amount of grass in any given pasture is calculated by the amount of the actual grass. Uh, if you take a mower and you mow down the grass, you'll have a certain amount of grass uh, that is um, on, on the swath and you have a certain amount of grass in your forage wagon if you load it and so on. And the same numbers apply for the animal grazing. But of course, uh, if the animals eat one layer at a time, um, they don't eat the same amount of grass as if you would mow this area. So it's obviously divided by the layers. So if the cows eat all the layers of grass, it would be the same as if the area was mowed. Um, now, uh, you can't uh, do any um, fertilizing or anything like that. That isn't uh, a part of grazing. That doesn't uh, doesn't calculate because I don't think it makes any sense. So it's basically the the the, the the base value, the base uh, value um, of uh, grass will be used, which also means that the area, the size of the area doesn't matter. What matters is how much grass is in that area. If I would go along and if I would take the construct construction thing right here and I would take the painting thing right here and I would say, okay, well, most of this area isn't really grass. Most of this area is dirt. Obviously now there's less grass, which means that at any given grazing step, it would um, return less grass into the trough. So the amount of grass that is uh, eaten from the field is always uh, relative or is always dependent on the actual grass that is there. It isn't a calculated area or anything, but it's, it's the actual grass that is in uh, within the um, pasture foliage areas. So now the next thing, what happens if those 25% are met? Um, well, all the grass right here, each, well, hourly. Each hour it checks and it checks if uh, the food buffer is empty and it checks if it has eaten already that day. So now what is the food buffer? Food buffer is basically um, a buffer where all the grass is stored. If, uh, well, because I can only eat one entire layer at any given time and not uh, small parts. Um, one entire layer, the, the, the amount of grass from one, one entire layer is stored in a food buffer and then is fed uh, to the feeding trough hourly. Now, if there's below 25%, it'll always fill up to those 25%. And if the entire food buffer is uh, those 25% or less, it'll obviously fill the entire food buffer, so the entire food buffer will be empty. But if the food buffer is more than those 25%, then it'll fill the amount of food used per hour within the, that hour. So that means that if the cows only eat grass, the food feeding trough will always be 25% full because they will always eat the same amount as uh, gets refilled. So, yeah, why did I do this that way or why did I do uh, things like that? Now, we have uh, the animal feeding from Maze Plus or from Maze Plus Food Editions right here. You can see we uh, do have four sliders, um, four slots. We do have parallel feeding, so they eat all four slots at the same time. We do have uh, increased food usage, so we have basically realistic food usage per month right here, which is a lot of food, a lot, which means that this small pasture we have right there for 15 cows doesn't really feed them all that long. So we also have a special thing with Maze Plus and Maze Plus Animal Food Editions. Um, we have it in a way that grass only will feed all four sliders, I think. I think all four sliders. Maybe it doesn't feed the roughest slider, so you have to feed hay. I'm, I'm actually not sure right now. Well, I'm, I'm great at making tutorials, right? I'm great at, at showcasing a mod if I don't really know anything about it. Uh, yeah, well, no, I think I think it will three out of four. I think. Or maybe four out of four. Anyways, um, it'll fill more of those sliders, which means... Oh, uh, well, no, that's not the right way to explain it. I need to explain it another way. Um, if you don't feed anything else, only the grass, it'll fill all of the sliders. It'll fill the same amount as they eat. It'll always stay at 25%. But if you now add hay, for example, or base food, or well, I, th I think hay is 
I don't know. I think hay is in roughage and base food is silage. Well, anyways, if you now add another part of food, another food other than grass to the pasture, obviously the trough will fill up. Now, I still want to add grass to the trough. I don't want to not add grass as soon as you feed anything else because, well, they still eat grass, probably not just not as much. But this means that the trough over time will fill up. It will fill up over time. Uh, more and more grass will be there. Um, more and more other things will be there. And if you feed more than they eat, well, it will fill up over time. Now, animal grazing will stop at 85%. If the trough right here, the total capacity of the trough is more than 85%, animal grazing won't add any more grass to the feeding trough. That also means if you want the animals to eat grass, you can never fully fill the feeding trough because, well, if you fill it over 85%, it won't feed grass. So this is one important thing to keep in mind. Don't fill above 85% if you want them to eat the grass. Now, um, it stops at 85% for one simple reason, because I always want to leave some room if you want uh, to feed something else. Um, well, of course, if you feed above 85%, it won't eat or it won't feed any more grass, but well, I, I will always have some room in there. Now, why did I do it this way? Well, because I didn't want to calculate the actual feed. I didn't want to calculate if anything else is fed. Um, I, uh, well, the, it would make the mod a lot more complex and I don't even know if it would even be possible to track the food and track if the player added some food and... Well, you can see, they ate. They ate another layer. Um, the hour has changed and they ate another layer. So, yeah. This basically happens each day. One layer per day. With one exception. If the feeding trough is empty. If the feeding trough is empty, they will eat another layer even though a day has not passed. Because I never want the animals to actually go hungry if there's still grass left in the animal pasture. Well, I think I've explained most things important. I, well, I'm, I'm sorry for <laughs> this video. Uh, I know I'm not great ex at explaining things. The, the German version of this video is uh, just as bad. Um, I still hope that I well. Uh, t um, I still hope that you understood most of the things I tried to explain. Um, before I end this video, there are two more things um, to know. Obviously, there is an XML in Maze Plus Animal Food Editions that you can adjust the feeding. You can adjust um, which of those sliders grass will fill and stuff like that, and how much the animals feed and, and all the stuff. But in the grazing mod itself is also an XML file, and that XML file will basically uh, contain which uh, foliage areas the mod uh, recognizes, it will contain which uh, foliages the mod can eat and it will uh, contain which output it will give. So uh, if you want to do any custom thing with custom grass or so, you could make it in a way that uh, one type of grass uh, fills that slide or another type of grass fills another slide or stuff like that. Uh, that's basically adjustable and uh, it'll always also have a, a min and max value for the stages so right here i have uh, two to four so basically four is maximum um, which is the maximum growth stage of grass and uh, two is basically uh, still uh, something left if, if you would reduce it to zero it would eat the grass away so there's no foliage left only the the painted area but i always wanted a, a little bit uh, left because well um it it looks much better so it's it's basically like uh, if you take a mower um it'll always leave a tiny little bit um, and if you take a mulcher, I think it'll reduce it more, but well, anyways, um, yeah, that's adjustable. And also if you took the time to watch this video in full, I can tell you that animal grazing will be released together with Maze Plus on the same day, uh, if everything goes as planned. So yeah, that will be soon. And I hope you will enjoy this mod. And yeah, I think I told you everything I wanted to tell you. Um, anyways, thanks for watching and have fun with the mod. And yeah, if you have any more questions or if anything I explained was unclear, you can always uh, write a comment down below. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.